Hola, Reisy Reinas, Hi, Kings and Queens. I pray that today I find you excited for the weekend, but more than anything, looking forward to getting some rest because I will tell you, if you're always busy, 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 it's very important to get rest because when you're super busy, super exhausted, you lose creative creativity. You don't have time to reflect. You don't have time for anything. So I don't want to get on too much on that, but I pray that you get rest this weekend and you're excited for this weekend. Um, I'm excited for a slight cool front that's supposed to be coming. Maybe that's just me. But today we're reading from Matthew 420. And if I don't find you excited for the weekend, I'm praying for you. Yes, you, um, that you're under the sound of my voice. I'm praying for you. Um, I'm going to be excited for you because I know that there's transition and change in every day and that you wake with expectancy. I'm excited today for today's devotion and that today we leave forever change, greater in wisdom, but more than anything, greater um, activated in our faith and in our intimacy and relationship with God. So Lord, have your way. We honor you. We thank you. I pray that you leave us forever change, greater in wisdom, greater in ideas and strategies, um, more than anything to heal and deal with exactly what we need to. So therefore we can become what you called us to be, Lord, and there also to be elevated into the next um the next the next environment that you have for us the next um level the next elevation but we have to get healing in here first so lord we thank you for your word and today we're reading from matthew 4 22 and it reads at once they left their nets and followed him amen leave your nets leave your baggage leave your past and follow him what is that is me what does it mean to me it's follow the lord follow his guidance because many times we want to hold on to things and it's too much weight therefore we cannot fly we cannot be elevated if we have a lot of baggage um today's title is the god of surprises lord have your way thank you father let me begin the com the convention center darkened and thousands of us university students bowed our heads as the speaker led us in a prayer of commitment as he welcomed those to stand who felt called to serve in overseas missions i could feel my friend lynette leave her seat and knew she was promising to live and serve in the philippines yet i felt no urge to stand seeing the needs in the united states i wanted to share god's love in my native land but a decade de decade decade later i would make my home in britain seeking to serve god among the people he gave me as my neighbors my ideas about how i would live my life changed when i realized that god invited me on an adventure different from what i had anticipated Jesus often surprised those he met, including the fishermen he called to follow him. When Christ gave them a new mission to fish for people, Peter and Andrew left their nets at once, at once, quickly, <laughs> they didn't even like think about it, and followed him. And James and John immediately, immediately left their boat. They set off on this new adventure with Jesus, trusting him yet not knowing where they were going. God, of course, calls many people to serve him right where they are. Whether staying or going, we can all look to him expectantly to surprise us with wonderful experiences and opportunities to live for him in ways we might never have dreamed possible. Amen. And that's what I say when I'm I'm saying that I pray that I find you expectancy, uh, full of expectancy, full of expectation. Um, I pray that, that you wake and that you surrender your day and you say, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for my health. Thank you for me being alive today. Thank you for the miraculous signs and wonders that you have for me today. And maybe we are supposed to be a miraculous sign and wonder to someone else. Um, as I said yesterday, that we have to be everything that you do in kindness it's opening doors it, it gives you favor when you love others and you are kind to others um doors are just open for you and when god says to move you, you move quickly as um <laughs> as they did here in this devotion they immediately left their nets immediately left whatever it is that you got to leave i pray that you leave it immediately and move forward with what god has called you to or if he's called you to stay that you immediately stay and if you don't know what to do don't do nothing is what i've always been advised um today's questions are how do you react when you hear stories of god at work i usually get emotional because i just i love hearing people's testimonies i love hearing um, people when they recognize that God is working in their lives or God has done things and I'm talking about little things uh, lead to great big things but I, I when you see God in the little I seriously believe that it's just a gift it's a gift it's it's just a beautiful thing to see God work and I get emotionally emotional because I just feel like it's the Holy Spirit many times when I'm talking to people they get emotional um, and you know I really believe that it's the Holy Spirit that's among us that's just me um, the second question is, how has he surprised you? Oh, seriously, um, man, he has surprised me in ways that 
things that I have been able to fulfill and do, and I honestly, I only know that it's by His glory, by His grace, by His wisdom, by His knowledge, by the health that He provides for me. That's why I truly try my best to be a blessing to those around me. Um, I'm not always a blessing. I try to be um, because I just feel that that's what He's giving me life for. That's what He's giving me His wisdom and His knowledge is to share with y'all um, testimonies. I love to hear stories and testimonies of God. I love to watch movies that are true testimonies of God. Um, so how has He surprised me? He has surprised me in a lot of things that um, things that I haven't even prayed for. He brings to pass things that I think in my mind. I'm like, oh, I need this. I'll show up at a yard sale or somebody will call me and be like, hey, I have this for you. And it could be things that I want, but I didn't even bring them. Like I didn't even ask them in prayer. But um, seriously, every day that I wake up, I ask for him to be with me and he always surprises me. And I will tell you, since I started that, I see more of him everywhere around me. So um, that's how God surprises me, especially when... I'm talking to someone about something or I'm thinking of somebody and then they call me and I'm like, I know that's of God. I know he sends me little prompts and little things that I think of people and I'll message them and he's like, they're like, oh my God, how did you know this? Whatever. I don't know. God does. I'm just being obedient in the areas he's called me to. Am I always obedient? No, but I know that the more I grow with him and the more I grow in him, the more trust I have in him and therefore I have more obedience to honor him because uh, I'm kind of scared not to, if that makes sense. But today's prayer is loving Jesus. You call people to follow you in unique and amazing ways. Teach us to discern your voice and respond to your call. Amen. That Oh my God, this prayer, I'm seriously going to take this with me probably every day. Um, loving Jesus, you call people to follow you in unique and amazing ways. Amen. Teach me, teach us to discern your voice, to recognize your voice, Lord, and respond to your calls immediately to drop our nets, to drop uh, our careers, to drop our relationships that you've called us to. Whatever it is, Lord, I pray that we drop it immediately. And maybe it's to drop ourselves. People always say, me, why are you dressed in black every day? Because uh, I'm dying to myself daily to be more Christ-like. <laughs> but um, seriously, drop whatever it is that he's called you to drop. Uh, you may not, how do you know, Esme, how do you know when he's speaking to you? You have that little, still, small voice, this little, still, discerning, intuition, gut feeling of when something's already ended, it's already expired, um, release it. So I pray that you have the courage that you need in this prayer that we take it with us daily. I pray that you have an amazing, uh, well, a prosper, prosperous, peaceful, and protected weekend. Um, I love you, not nowhere near the way God does, but remember... Don't give up in your prayers. Don't cease in prayer. This is the shirt that I made, Luke 18, which is always pray. Never stop praying um, because God is at work in your future. He's at work yesterday. He's at work today. He's at work tomorrow. He's at work 10 years from now. So God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. I know I came in today a little late, um, but better late than never. God bless y'all. And remember, don't give up. And um, I'll see y'all soon. Uh, this is my birthday sort of birthday weekend however if god calls me to go live tomorrow i will see you tomorrow i pray that this blesses you and if it added value to your life please share 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 i cannot thank y'all enough for all the views all the shares um all the support all the comments all the prayers everything that y'all send i'm so thankful i seriously am thankful for y'all's obedience to the holy spirit whatever he lays in your heart to share uh please share there's people out there that really need to hear these devotionals to be encouraged to be to have knowledge in the sense of maybe they don't know how to break down a devotion i don't know but i pray that it blesses you and it added value to your life god bless y'all i'll see y'all soon bye